Hello Wildlings, Colin Stuckard here, founder of Wild Foods Co. And today's video is how to make your own tea blends. And this article's on our site, so if you want to read it through, if you're really interested in this topic, I recommend you do that. Tea is something that we all should drink more. It's something that I constantly have to remind myself to drink more. I've created habit trackers, I've created reminders, whatever. And it's something that when you make it in bulk, I found that's the best way to drink more tea. That being said, a lot of people struggle with drinking kind of the same standard unsweet tea, uh, especially like herbal teas and or even just like black or green tea. Sometimes, unless, until you really develop a palate for it, it's hard to drink just straight tea. And so one method that we like to do is we like to encourage you to make your own tea blends. Now, I love hibiscus. It's actually it's just straight organic hibiscus. That's a product that we offer at Wild Foods. And it is the perfect base for blending. Now keep in mind, hibiscus is very overpowering. So when you brew hibiscus with something, uh, you, you actually probably wanna lose, use much less percent because otherwise your tea will come out mostly just hibiscus flavor. Uh, maybe you want that, maybe it's something you experiment with. But what I like to do is I like to, to add, you know, like a 10th by weight of hibiscus to almost every blend I do, just to add a little bit of sweet to it, a bit, a bit of that natural sweet. And so basically what you're doing is, to make your own tea blends, you're going to take raw, real ingredients, uh, herbal ingredients. Uh, you can even use foods. There's, there's actually a lot of things you can put in tea that people don't really realize. But let's just take some of the common ones and kind of look at what it will look like to make your own tea blend. Okay, so you see that right here in this picture. We have, we have roses. Uh, I believe that's passion flower. Uh, we have some lavender. Chamomile is another favorite. It's also one of the most potent medicinal herbal teas there there are it's just something you like you should really drink it we should all drink every day we got calendula here we got some yarrow elderflower uh, i believe that's our our green tea maybe some guayusa and basically if you took all these different single ingredient herbal these aren't really teas that's the thing so tea is actually made from the specific green tea plant uh Camellia sinensis i always have problems saying that so don't Try saying yourself for four times. Camellia sinensis, Camellia sinensis, sinensis. Anyways, the green tea plant is from a very specific green tea plant, and you actually get white tea, yellow tea, black tea, green tea, all from that same plant. Now, herbal, which are more like herbal infusions, isn't you know technically tea because like it's not the green tea plant. But so again, it's just one of those weird nomenclature things. Uh, I'm just going to use the blanket term tea because everyone kind of knows that. And we'll just use like herbal tea for teas that aren't from the tea plant and that usually don't have caffeine. And then we'll use just regular tea to or, or green tea and black tea to identify a traditional tea that you'd have, you know, if you had a cup of tea in Britain or if you were to have tea in, in anywhere in Asia, it's almost always going to be a green or black tea. So if you were to have these single ingredients, you would then... I mean, if you really wanted to get scientific with it, obviously you could eyeball it, but you would get a gram scale and you would take different level, you know, let's say get a, a, a large cup or container, maybe you want to make like eight ounces or so, and you're going to try to divide it by basically proportion. So let's say I'm going to do chamomile as a base. Let's just say I want to do 50% chamomile, okay? So I want to do eight ounces, I'm going to, I'm going to weigh out four ounces of chamomile. Then I'm going to do an ounce of hibiscus. So I put that in. I want to throw in uh, an ounce of calendula or lavender or, 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 you know, or let's see, what are some of the examples actually? Uh, herbal ingredients, jasmine. Or, and then you even get into dried fruit, which is really fun to experiment with. And you get a little natural sweetness that way, like elderberries or cranberries. Uh, you can even do something like, like raw nibs, cocoa shell to get other flavors. Pieces of dried ginger do really well. Lemongrass is a very nice, um, easy to get anywhere at the store and that you can add in. Although you kind of want to make sure it's dried lemongrass because the not dried will go bad because it's going to have moisture in it. So actually keep that in mind. Dried lemongrass is what you'd want. Uh, spearmint, peppermint, uh, rose petals. Uh, pretty much, I mean, there's hundreds of ingredients. Like, like ja these are actually jasmine balls. That's actually probably jasmine tea. Uh, let's see, we got paprika, then you get into spices and you can do, you know, more like that. But anyway, so if you look here and you scroll down into the, the article a little bit, you find kind of your base tea, which like I said, is chamomile in this example, you can make up to 40, 
and then you list out the ingredients you're trying to assign percentages of the different greens you want to add to the tea blend and just kind of eyeball it you know what what it looks like this one we have as, as an example we have rooibos as a tea base which is a red rooibos then we have sweet nibs 15% of what by weight and then we have coconut flakes dry coconut flakes 10% vanilla beans 10% and then cocoa shells 5% so we would take a scale and measure these out based on percent uh, after converting, you know, either ounces or grams to the respective percent. And then we would put it into, let's say a bag and shake it up vigorously. Take one, one tablespoon, teaspoon, or, or about three grams typically is what you're, you're aiming for, for eight ounces. And then brew that, uh, probably about like 195 degrees. So let, let it come off the boil and sit for about a minute to kind of get in like the 200 to 195 degree temp and let it go for about three to five minutes and then taste and you know, you can adjust if you think it's a little bland or it needs more cocoa or it needs more coconut. Uh, maybe you want to try adding something else completely. Maybe you need to add a little bit of sweet, so you want to add some dried fruit or you want to do like hibiscus. These are all options that really gives you limitless opportunity to experiment with and to make your own custom tea blend. And then when you really find something that you like, you know, maybe you, that's something that you use anytime you're feeling sick or it's something that it's like your nighttime tea you always have. Uh, or it's just like your everyday tea. Maybe you make like a lighter tea, like our Thai G, which is like a green rooibos with lemongrass and lime. And that's like your, you know, midday tea. And then just, I would just really recommend making a few tea blends that you can kind of enjoy throughout the day and for different reasons. Uh, and then, you know, if you, if you want to sweet stevia, maybe add a dash of erythritol or xylitol, experiment with that. Even a dash of honey here and there is not going to kill you. Although we rec recommend, you know, watching your honey intake because of the sugar content, of course. Uh, and this is just something that is really fun, a fun way to be creative in the kitchen. And there really are so many opportunities to make your own tea blends. And so we, even though we do offer a few blends, we highly recommend you just buy the bulk in, raw ingredient. Like we have, you know, the straight hibiscus, which is a super good organic, awesome hibiscus that I use every single day pretty much. And, and uh, that is, in fact, Allison's mom makes a, a, like kind of like a hibiscus lemonade where she sweetens it with stevia and ice and, and lemon. Oh my gosh. I, like I asked her one time, I'm like, did you add sugar to this? And she didn't. And I just, I, I, every time I drank, I just couldn't believe there's no sugar. There's no sugar. Anyways, guys, I hope this video was useful. I hope you get some ideas for making your own tea blends at home. And if you want to get some ingredients to help you make your tea blends, go to wildfoods.co and use code WILDCEO for 12% off your entire order. And you just click up here to the shop and that will bring you to, uh, all the different greens we have and you can do cocoa you can we obviously have the teas uh you can mix up things like even like try guayusa which isn't a herbal tea or a green tea it's actually a very unique tea from south america that does have caffeine but isn't the same plant as the green tea plant and so fun stuff love tea whole world tea and super crazy amount of health benefit you're going to get out of it all all right. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below and or shoot us an email at info at wildfoods.co. Thanks for watching.